Hey guys, it's Mr. Lee Nice here. I hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm just going to be doing a super easy tutorial on how to make a tactical keychain lanyard. Now this is one that I made a few years back. I've used it every single day. I do keep my car keys on there. And what I have attached to it, this is an ITW Nexus lightweight carabiner. I have it looped through the other side of this really cheap one inch nylon webbing. I think I just got it from Walmart. And then I have it also attached to an ExoTac key chain ring, which I highly recommend these, uh, these key rings. They call it the free key. And man, they, they are really sweet. It works really well. It's easy to take on and off. But in this video, like I said, I'm going to make um, an updated version of this keychain lane. I'll go ahead and show you what I've got here, and then I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial. Uh, I do have a really nice Singer sewing machine. I highly recommend a good sewing machine if you're going to do a project like this. I have some brown hook and loop Velcro material, and that will come later. I have this one inch... This is the Cryptek Highlander Camouflage Webbing. This, as far as I know, is more of a cotton base. It is actually almost twice as thick as the nylon I'm working with. So I'm not going to... Uh, originally, that is actually three layers of nylon. I'm only going to double this one over. I'll show you how that works. And I've just got scissors, and I'm going to have a little bit of fun. I have some double side tape and a big lighter. And then I'll show you how I'm going to uh, make it a little bit more tactical even than what I've got here which I know it's pretty hard to do, right? <laughs> so uh, we'll get started. And I'm just gonna get the old nylon webbing off there. Now I measured this earlier. I did, this is four inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the webbing here, the Cryptek, and I'm gonna do about, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and just do nine inches. I want it to be a little bit longer. And when I do the nine inches, then I'll show you, uh, I'm just going to double it over. Now, you can do all sorts of various lengths. You can shorten it, you can lengthen it, but the point of the key lanyard is that you have a little bit of extra room to grab onto your keychain there. Okay, so now I've got my, it is my 9 inch length on there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to double it over. Very simple, very simple tutorial, almost a little too simple, but uh, I'm going to tweak it up a little bit. And that is your general idea right there, okay? And then originally what I'd done is I left roughly a little less than an inch on each side of this uh, little retaining piece of nylon. And so I'm going to do similar to this. And when I sew... I tend to double, if not triple, up everything that I work on. That's just out of habit. I just, I can't help it. I like my stuff to hold up over time. Okay. There is the rough draft. Let's go ahead and check out. See the, make sure the carabiner works on both sides, and it surely does, okay? So I'm just going to, real quickly off camera, I'm going to finish stitching this, and I'm going to continue on to what I uh, call is the much cooler, more tactical part of making this lanyard. Okay, so I put just a really rough X on each side, and I highly recommend putting X's in, in different patterns like that because they're really strong when you're sewing, and also the, the zigzag pattern, but I just use the okay, standard. So you got that uh, ready to go. Now what's cool is I'm going to add on some of the hook and loop. And this is just going to be the, the loop side, the softer side that you can like put your morale patches and things on. I'm just measuring it down and I'm going to cut it accordingly. And then having that big lighter there, you can touch up any edges or anything like that. And uh, that's what I'm going to set up. Now I'm not going to put the X pattern on this hook and loop. I'm just going to work the sides that way. So I've got a little bit of swag to put on here. It's a little Benchmade logo patch. I'm going to go and put that on the hook and loop. Pretty cool, huh? And then you attach your carabiner like that. I'll go ahead and put on the free key ring.
Oh yeah. And then, I don't know if you noticed, but when I put the hook and loop on, it was on the side where I connected the original material. I'm gonna show a really cool addition what I'm gonna do is I have that big lighter that I've been using and I've got some double-sided tape here. I just got this on eBay a while back. Big old, big old roll of it. Uh, it's about half an inch wide. And I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna measure it up to the big lighter. Just I don't know if you noticed, but I do just a lot of stuff by hand. I don't get the ruler out a whole lot. Um, just, just simply because it's just quicker and easier. And then I'll just take the double-sided tape. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Stick it on the back of the big lighter, just like that. And then, let's see if I can peel back. Now, I've got the double side tape on the big lighter, and here is that extra hook portion that I didn't use. And I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna eyeball it and cut it off accordingly. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put it down on the double sided tape. Just like that, and just use even pressure all the way around. And I'm, I've been using the double side tape for quite some time now, a lot of different brands. And all in all, I mean, if you, you push it down well enough, it seems like it, it gets the job done pretty well. And that's the big lighter set up. Move my patch over, and tactical lighter set up on your keychain. Very nice. So, what's cool about this? is if you go into some place maybe you can't bring a lighter in there you go a whole lot quicker than uh, I've occasionally attached a lighter to a keychain before using paracord and tape and that's fine it just it takes a little bit longer you can get also you can buy disconnectors to your keychain but what's cool really cool is you can take this big lighter and put it on other pieces of tactical gear now okay so that's pretty much my tutorial for making a tactical keychain lanyard so there's the old one all beat up i mean not too bad of a job here's the new one um you know not the best in the world and then you have the big lighter attachment and then i have the swag Not too bad for a tactical seamstress so thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you can share it uh, please do if you, if you uh, want to comment I'd love to hear it and if you haven't subscribed I uh, do that as well if you can all right have a good one mr. Lee Nina signing out